there's like fuzz on you. I got it on video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Allison and it is lovely to have you here. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be using makeup that I feel really confident in. So these are things that are very tried and true for me, things that I really like using, that I feel really good in using. So without further ado, we'll get started. So I've already used this this morning. This is the Isle of Paradise. This is the light self-tanning water. My face really kind of gets a nice warmth to it without looking like I just sprayed myself with self-tanner. And it takes about four hours for it to really kind of sink in and give color. And I don't want to do it right before I do my makeup because I feel like I'm going to rub it around and create kind of splotchiness. Has a really good mist on it, so I just kind of mist it, fan it, and walk away. We're going to jump right into the magic. So these are my Arborean CC creams. One is in the color Dory or the Medium, and then one is the Claire or the Light Shade. Now I started out by getting this guy, the Medium, um, before I got the lighter shade. And this is a little too dark, this is way too light. But what I really like to do is use them both. And so, what I'll do is start with one, and kind of create a perimeter outline. So it goes on white, and there's these little color beads in here, and when you blend it into the skin, it looks seamless, pretty much. And you can't use a brush, you've got to use your fingers, you've got to pop those little beads. For me, it really feels like you're actually getting it worked into the skin instead of it sitting on top of the skin, because you're rubbing it out like it's a moisturizer, essentially. And to me, this is the most skin-like finish. It's like drool. It's got the most skin-like finish compared to anything else I own. And to me, it's, it's a holy grail product, hands down. I love picking this up at Sephora when they've got their 20% off VIB sale or the 15, whatever I can deal with, um, because it is $44 and I have two of these. So technically it's the most bougiest foundation that I own. Secondly, I love to keep it light in the summertime. This is my Holy Grail concealer. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer. Super, super hydrating. And I just like to dot just a little bit right here, right where the serious baggage claim pickup area is. This is a baby flat top kabuki brush. It's the flat top concealer brush by Sonny Kasha. You can pick these up at Target. But I just blended in <laughs> So for a light setting of the face, I have two things that I really, really love. Uh, this one, it's something that was in my project pan. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish I don't know why, I always stumble over when I say this. It's literally the color of skin tone. And then something else I picked up recently, this is like a smaller version. Uh, it's the dim light. And so from underneath my eyes, I love this Fenty brush. It took me forever to want to try this, but now that I've got it, I'm in love with it. But if I want to pack on, I'll use this. And again, I just, I kind of avoid powders in the summertime, but there's certain things that are not as attractive, which is creasing right through other eyes. But these two really make me feel confident as far as the setting powder goes. There's a lot of loose setting powders that I have tried and I'm really just not a fan of, but so far these are really doing it for me. And so with that Charlotte and Hourglass, I think I'm, I'm not going to completely set my face because I've got some other cream products I want to use. Let's see, something else I really love, this is the Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. I have these two brushes that I love. This one you can find at Walmart. It's a Milani brush. It's a like a face sculpting fan brush. And then this one, this is the 141S by MAC. It's a little bit more of like a blunt. First of all, this looks really gunked up and nasty inside here because I've used some natural hair brushes in here and so there's Fallen Soldiers. And so if you use this, use it with a synthetic brush. And since it's summertime, we really want to accentuate high points with bronzer and not just use it as a contour and a shadow. 
This is such a good browser. It really is. This is something that's literally going to last forever for me. So this to me is like a definite confidence booster. I love using this on bare skin. It's a little bit over moisturizer, tinted SPF, or even my Borean cream. This is definitely a go-to for me. In addition to that, something else that I love to use, and I'm sure you've heard me talk about on my channel before, is this bronzer by Laura Mercier. This is a deluxe sample size, so literally would I ever finish a full size? Doubt it. I've been working down this booger for like a year now, and it's just like this never-ending story. I love this. I love this color. This is the Bronze 3. This is my favorite all-time blush. It is not a red undertone. It's a very neutral undertone. It's not cool shaded. It's still warm, but not excessively warm. So, I love this. This makes me feel good about my makeup. So just briefly, these are some other things that I love to use that I'm not necessarily going to use today. This is a finishing powder by MAC. It's like a MAC mineralized powder, mineralized skin finish. This is the shade Light Plus. It's a baked powder. I've gone through a few of these in my lifetime. And it's just, it's so silky soft. It blends in. It's like a veiling powder in my opinion. Um, if you have never tried these, I would definitely say slip into a MAC area and feel it. Because it feels so good. It feels so good, girl. This is kind of cheesy, but I always like to bring these up. These are crust white strips. Or I have the box sitting right here. It takes 30 minutes a day. You can go through a box within three weeks because there's like 21 applications in a week. And I've actually got a video coming up where I'm almost through an entire box right now. But I'm using these once a week, once a day, taking pictures. And really kind of saying, does these do these really work? And for me, whenever I focus on my teeth, I feel confident about myself because I'm making sure that my smile is on point. And I think um, mouth health is just as important as skin health, as important as internal and external health and mental health. They're all important. So that's my two cents on that. So I've got three highlighters right here. Now, these three highlighters right here are my literal favorite highlighters out of my entire collection and I'll be real brutally honest with you I have like 40 highlighters probably more than that I know I have more than that I think highlighters are such a an easy area uh, for people to fall in love with because you're looking at something like ooh shiny <laughs> but let me just go down the line so this is the Viseart Ablaze Theory Palette this highlight has zero shimmer in it and it's just that like slight notch above your skin tone and I know with the lighting and whatnot we're not really gonna see. Number two is by Melt. This is the Stargazer Digital Dust Highlight. Again this as well as this Ablaze highlighter spot on same fucking color probably. There's no glitter make your skin look so good and then last but not least this is an oldie but a goodie this is lightscape by mac it looks like a little planet doesn't that just look like a place you want to adventure to and this one is a little bit different it does not look like insanely amazing it looks just like a little bit of a shin powder and that's kind of the way it plays off on the skin it just illuminates in such a nice healthy way like this is hands down like such an underrated powder. I, it's not something that I would spray a brush with Fix Plus with to dial it up because it can kind of look a little powdery because it is a white base, but really kind of like glazed donut around the face. It is nice. And to me when I'm wearing this, it's just such a nice healthy glow. It's not like a bam in your face highlighter that it just really, it's a confidence booster for me. I love the way I feel when I'm wearing this. And I really like to buff. So I mean, I will tap, I will swirl. And it's so funny when you hear people talking so much about so many different highlighters like the Amrezy highlighter or the Anastasia Glow Kits and all that magic. I feel like I've gotten more compliments and more questions from people saying like, what highlighter are you wearing? And it's this. It's literally this little like surface of a planet highlighter. It, there's just something about all of these colors. I feel like there's a color correcting aspect to it as well as just a slight enhancement of the natural glow that you already have. 
Ugh, makes me happy. Second, third, fourth, fifth, I don't know what number we're on. This is hands down becoming my most favorite blush in my collection. It's another Charlotte Tilbury product. This is called Sex on Fire, aka the nipple blush. If you've heard me call it the nipple blush, then welcome back. In conjunction with my uh, Smashbox buildable cheek brush, see how it's got that little angle to it? I love to just kind of just load her up. And kind of build on top of the bronzer towards the back and bring it forward. And I love putting blush in different parts of my face because realistically, and then I turn it over and I use this bottom side here. Uh, we all don't blush just right on the apples of our cheeks. I know I don't. When I am like blushing, I'm flushing. So like my whole face turns red, so I should probably like splot it all over here. But I like to do the bridge of my nose with bronzer, with blush, and I love doing this almost on a daily basis because honestly when I have that little bit of redness, it's too bright. You can't tell. Can you tell if I do this? Everything's just yellow. It was all yellow. Anyway, just because it gives you that realistic like, did she do her makeup? I don't know. She got blush on her nose. So she probably didn't do her makeup. She looks great though. What's the look we're going for? She looks great though. I don't know what she did. So this is in a nutshell the face products that I love to use. My face is a little tacky in certain areas, but in the summertime I really don't like to set the entirety of the face. I love to use products really lightly and I love to play with cream products, but I also love to look really natural and not cakey. And to me there's two approaches to makeup. There's less is more and then there's more is more. And granted, both of them are super fun, but both of them have to be done in their own way. This I got recently. This is by Givenchy, and uh, Tara Babies was the one that got me on this. If you've ever watched her video, she's always got a emerald color in her waterline, and she's got really pretty green eyes, and she finally said, this is what that is. And I went in store, and I swatched this, and I had been on the hunt to find something as vibrant as this, and I can't. I have yet to find anything. It's matte and it's just intense green and it stays put. So you can smoke this out, you can use a fine tip brush and you can do a beautiful wing, waterline, anything. It is called the waterproof, no, the Cold Couture Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner Pencil. And I love this. I love this. I've looked at some of the other colors. They're not as appealing to me as this is because I have green eyes and I love drawing attention to them. So I've got my purse right here and when we talk about things that make you feel confident, a lot of times you'll pack those things that you feel great about yourself with in your purse when you're going places. So I wanted to show you what was in my bag because it kind of makes me laugh. Uh, it makes me think of a friend of mine who one day called me out for how many lip products I had in my purse. And so I just want to show you how many I really do have. Uh, first of all, we'll start with not a lip product, but this is my all-time favorite mascara. This is another MAC product. This is the Extended Play Giga Lash Black, the little blue on blue. This started a long time ago. I was in a MAC store and I told someone, I said, as I want something more hydrating, something that's not going to flake, something that looks more natural, and a brush that I can manage. Baby brush, small tube, super hydrating, doesn't flake. I love, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've been using this probably since I was 19, 18, a long time. This is something that I got in my Lucky Bag. This is by Terry, and I am so glad to have gotten this because this formula is fucking amazing. It's got the little like Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Gloss whatever top to it, but it's like a lip velvet, but it's so comfortable. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't run, it wears off gracefully, and I hope I get more of these in my lucky bag this year because that is 40 something dollars on its own and it's not happening. It's not happening at all. And this is like my holy grail secret that I won't live without anymore. This is Makeup Forever the Ultra HD Lip Booster. Now it does say like Hydra Plump Serum on here. This is not one of those like bee sting, like makes your lips feel fuzzy and plump. This is like a hyaluronic acid, just it makes your lips feel like velvet. Like my lips feel so insanely hydrated when I put this on. This is like my chapstick. 
I can't live without this. This is maybe like my sixth or seventh bottle of this, but it stays in my purse. It's not allowed to go anywhere. It's a do not pass go. Don't collect $200. Don't do anything without that. I kid you not. I got two more things in my purse. So this one I got recently. This is the La Absolute Lacquer by Lancome. Uh, Samantha Ravendall here on YouTube introduced me to wanting to try one of these. And this formula is weird, weird to say the least. So it's like a lip gloss. It's like a lip stain and a liquid lip all in one. So when you put this on, it has kind of this like really cold alcohol feeling to it. And what it's doing is it's kind of staining your lips and leaving behind this nice gloss. So if you let it sit for a second, this wears so beautifully throughout the day. This does not wear off right away. It doesn't leave any kind of funky lines around your lips. There are several different colors. This one is in 202 shade. This, I love this. So on days where I'm running to the store, just little places here and there, these two things are in my purse. I will put on a little bit of mascara and I will put this on because it's like a glossy pink lip. And I love it. It just makes me feel good about myself. I have two more lip products and they're both bougie as hell. So this was my first Tom Ford purchase. This is in the shade Bare and it's the Ultra Shine lip color. This is nice. So it's just like a very cool tone nude. I don't know what it is, but this smells so good. It smells like Christmas morning. It smells like everyone in your family gets along. It smells like you can afford to pay for a housekeeper. It actually has a smite, slight similar scent to like a MAC lipstick, but intensified in a beautiful way. I don't know. Uh, last thing, and this is what I want to wear today. I just picked this up, but this, ever since I was putting this on my lips yesterday, I just... Uh, I put this on my lips before I went to bed last night. That's how much I've really like thrown off loving this. This is the shade Sugar Sugar, but this is the new uh, Hydrating Lip Gloss Sticks. What? What the fuck? And the only thing I will say that kind of bothers me about this is that you can click it up, but you can't click it back down. So I can't look and see how much product I realistically have here. But this is High Shine and just so I love this and as soon as this runs out whenever that day is which will probably be like in the next two or three days because I'm so impressed by it I'll go buy another one because I, I love it last thing my eyeballs so I have a ton of palettes just like everyone else on this planet we all have a ton of makeup but there's one thing that stands out in my eyeshadow collection more than anything else and when it comes to using this one palette I've never had a look that was just kind of like, what is that? This has just been a constant go-to for me. It's the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. She is well loved. She is super dirty. I've been through all of these pans insanely. There's one that you can't even see the letters on anymore. But every time I use this palette, no matter what color combination I go through, it looks good. It looks really nice. It looks very flattering. It's not, it looks sophisticated. It's not too intense. It's not crazy. It's just good. A simple look today. I like to just do a little something in the crease to kind of just define the crease a little bit. And then I'll take a little bit underneath the eyeball. And then one of my favorite shades is this one right here. Creme brulee. And let's tap it right on. That's it. That's literally it. That is all the magic I have to offer. I do love sweeping like the bronzer shade or like that nice soft warm matte crease shade underneath the eyes. I feel like that actually will kind of help camouflage some of the wrinkles that you have because if you're trying to create this stark white flat smooth base you need to step back to reality and kind of realize that that's not gonna happen 
<laughs> if you're similar age to me, you'll understand and respect the fact that that's not going to happen. We need to stop dreaming like we're in, you know, a fake land. <sighs> I'm an asshole. Um, but in addition to that, I will just top it off with some mascara. And something else about this mascara, I'm addicted to the way it smells. It almost smells like sea salt. Like my favorite candle is Sun and Sand from Yankee Candle, and it literally just smells like being at the beach. Like it's, it smells like sunscreen, salt water, and wind. And that's exactly what this smells like. And it just, I love it. I could huff this and just pass out happy. So what do you think? I feel confident. I feel like today is the day to just go out and fuck off because it's Sunday and that's what you do on a Sunday, right? So last but not least, I do want to stress the importance of one thing in particular. In order to realistically feel super confident with your makeup is to make sure that you feel confident with your skin. Skincare is the most important step of my day. It's very therapeutic. It's very stress relieving for me. It's something for me to focus on every day. And it's also something that I can control. So the quality of my skin can fluctuate crazy, just like my hormones. But I feel really good when I can do a mask or do an exfoliant or you know, some kind of like a topical acid that makes me feel really good that I'm taking care of my skin. Secondly, Make sure you're taking care of your skin from the inside out. Think about what all you're eating. Think about what you're drinking all the time. Make sure that you're drinking enough water to be able to flush things out of your skin. That's something that, you know, I would hear people say and just not think twice of it. And the more that I drink water, the better my skin always looks. And it's so silly to say that out loud and be like, I didn't believe that shit was true. But it's true. Look it up, man. But look at this. I feel so cute. So these are the makeup products that make me feel really confident during the summertime. Uh, the list does expand a little bit when it gets into the winter or the colder months just because your skin can handle a little bit more cakiness, I feel like. If you use any of these products, tell me that you like these products too or you know, tell me down below what some of your favorite products are that make you feel the most confident because honestly I can sweep on a little bit of this bronzer or now the obsession with this lip gloss is real and I feel great about myself. I also love just doing a little bit of self-tanner and making sure I use my little white strips in the morning. <laughs> and I'm good to go. And I love it. And I'm super excited about it. <sighs> so this is good. This is my confident, minimal summer makeup. I don't feel like we'll go anywhere. I also have a weird habit of like wearing multiple rubber bands. Like my hair is in a ponytail and I'm wearing a rubber band on my wrist. I don't know. But love it. I'm just checking to see if there's boogers in my nose. <laughs> so makeup that makes me feel confident. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed and you like listening to some of this nonsense that I've been babbling about, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye! Has this been here the whole damn time? Look at this. I don't want you, but I just like get so excited when my hair does something cute like that on its own. But then it also makes me think like my hair did this on my own. Maybe my hair has the ability to choke me in my sleep. You can unsubscribe if you.